And there's something about farming, growing up on a farm, and you get the connection between everything. If you want to harvest corn in the fall, you have to plant it in the spring. There's, you, can't, you don't have to bait that. You, it has to happen that way. So if you want to plan for your future, you've got to figure it out months, if not years in advance. And I really uh, encourage all young people that are trying to kind of establish themselves in their career to get outside of their job, to get engaged in the community, to practice uh, leading people. That's why I'm always very interested if a student or a young person comes along and wants to talk about something. I stop everything and just do what I can to help advance the cause and encourage people because sometimes that's all they need. You spend two minutes with them and they can spend the next 20 years working on it and because that's what happened to me. When uh, uh, when I think about the challenges of any leader, there's really, there's really three parts to it. One is knowing what needs to be done, having the vision. So outstanding leaders have the ability to figure out what needs to be done and the personal skills, the leadership skills to figure out how do you build the support to get it done. And so part of the CEO's responsibility is to create an environment where outstanding people want to work pretty much on the same agenda, same vision, help you create the vision, and then have a lot more skills and, and capacity to get the job done than you would have as the leader. So I've always felt that if I could focus my attention on what's the right thing to do and how do we get it done, and if I could and attract and retain the people that we have here now that are outstanding, uh, I would say that's the main thing in any organization. But I get a lot of credit uh, just because of the job I'm in. But it has to be very clear to everybody that the credit goes to hundreds and hundreds of people in all occupations throughout this organization. To small groups of people that have created things, to leaders that have done things that are unusual, to clinicians, to doctors to board members that have volunteered countless thousands of hours. The volunteers that, I mean, when you, so when you, uh, the uncomfortable feeling that people like me have in these positions is that um, I'm the CEO, it's the, you know, and it's the visible job and all that, but we, people like me, in these jobs know that the things that are accomplished here aren't ha didn't happen because of me. I was. I was granted the, uh, the, the ability, uh, the honor, the privilege to be in this job, to lead this process, but uh, I would never for a moment want anybody to believe that I think <laughs> that this has happened because of me. I, I know who did it. I know how hard they worked. Uh, a lot of unsung heroes out there, and uh, that's, the way Heartland, that's why Heartland will continue to be very strong because I know how we've got so many people throughout this organization that are so dedicated and so smart, so talented, that's why I have very little concern about our future. Mm -hmm.